Well, good morning, guys. I am back in Arcadia. I made it safe and sound. And now I'm just waiting on my mom and my aunt to do whatever they're doing. We're going to the beach. And we're going to go eat at one of my favorite restaurants. It's uh, the Fishery at Placida. We just call it Placida. It's, it's in Placida. But um, the Fishery restaurant in Placida. Great seafood, right on the water. It's going to be really good to see the water and the beach again. And uh, I think we're going to go to Inglewood and walk down to Stump Pass. If the tides are right, I guess. So, I bet you're jealous right now, all you people out there in snowy areas, because it is February 20th and I'm going to the beach. So I just watched back that clip and realized how tired I look. Woo! Yeah. Might have stayed out late at Mardi Gras and then drove straight home. And then stayed up late editing together yesterday's video so that I could upload it this morning. Because here's the thing. I am on my parents' internet. It is very slow. They're on DSL, but it's extremely slow. So my video from the airport was only like, what, seven minutes long? So it wasn't that bad to upload. But the one from Mardi Gras is 12 minutes long, and look at this time that I'm looking at. It's 33% so far. Can you read that? If not, it says 45 minutes. Like in another 45 minutes for this video to load. So that's why I did it last night, so that I could get it going this morning when I woke up. So anyway, tired. I'm sure I'll look better as the day goes on, but whew. So we're here in Placida, gonna get some lunch. Oh, I see him down below. Mm -hmm. He's looking up top. He's gonna back it in there. Is that where he's going? One Yummy, yummy. There's some fries here too. Sure, yeah, yeah, got all these it. Yummy, yummy. Little fish jump right behind us. Where's the sand? Fiddler crab. I was looking for some. There must be around there on the other side. So here we are at the fishery restaurant. This is the dock outside the restaurant. And uh, trying to look for some fiddler crabs. But I didn't see anything. So that's where we were just eating. We were sitting right by that window having some delicious seafood lunch. The thing is, my flip flops keep catching on the dock. Makes me a little weary about vlogging and walking. There. There's some white pelicans. It's my favorite time of year to be in Florida because it's February, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Like in the 70s, perfect weather. You can't find this anywhere else. Hate being here during the summer. Love it during this time of year. That was a pretty large boat. Good grief. <laughs> Going for a walk on the beach. Alright, so we're here at Stump Pass Park near Inglewood, Florida, and we're walking down to the actual Stump Pass. So, it's a beautiful day at the beach. Yeah. And, uh, oh, they're having fun. <laughs> the water's freezing, so we're not going swimming, but it's a beautiful day for walking on the beach. Hee ho! It's a game my parent, family, and I played ever since I was born. And we kind of find keyholes. They're not the most popular shells, so there's always lots of them. 
but it's always a game of who could find the first one. And I found it today. So you used to win an ice cream cone if you found the first one, but the Dairy Queen closed, so now there's no free ice cream cone. Just bragging right. However, we'll say the tides definitely turned in my favor when I became an adult and my parents needed glasses because I win all the time now. Oh no, I didn't find a cute hole. No, I no. I meant uh, seashell. <laughs> The tides have turned in this game suddenly. Yeah. That lady over that's right about in front of my mom. Just what I hate is she walking the beach, just exercising. But she's wearing shoes and she's stepping on the shells. She's breaking all of them. I'm trying to collect those, don't you know? Don't break them. Keyhole. Oh, well, that's the focus on that. Probably not. The keyhole. So yeah, I grew up going to this beach. Well, sort of this beach. I'm down. Minnesota Key is where we go, Englewood Beach um, is where we've been going every summer since I was three. So I've grown up going to this beach. It's definitely my home away from home and my favorite place in the world to be. Um, but this is the state park that's only $3 to come to and it's really nice. It opened while I was in high school. So, oh, it's delicious. Oh, yeah. So this morning that there's one delicious that has an indeterminate life that lives forever, well, never dies. It's one form of it, and they can't figure out why. Unless they're hit by a prophet, they have no natural enemy. That is a big one. Well, that's definitely the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> you want to tag that one? No. These are, I'm sure these are former Australian pines that they've gotten rid of. The people have started decorating them. The anthropologist and me can just see humanity being wiped out and someone coming back and wondering why the heck were they decorating these trees with shells? And they will spend years and years and years doing theses and dissertations on why the trees had shells on them, what type of ritual significance they had. Can you tell I've been in grad school too long? Shark's eye. <laughs> <laughs> and there So this is a stump path. They are currently dredging here in order to create more beach. And so it's always actually the prettiest right now. But I bet you those really pretty houses over there just love having these things in their front yard. Oh well. I don't know if you can hear me over the dredger, but there's a sandbar out there and there's a couple dogs playing fence with their families that have voted up there and it's really cute. I don't have a great zoom in this camera. I'm sorry I didn't bring the HD camera, but they're playing out there and it's really fun to watch. So, drive the boat over there? Nothing, right there. All the noise. Alright, well my family's leaving me, so I guess I better go. Well now. This is an interesting surprise upon trying to go to bed. What the heck is this on my wall? What the heck? Alright, so maybe I do like living in Colorado where there's no bugs. Now how am I supposed to sleep with that right next to my head? How am I supposed to move it? Ugh, gross. Gross. Alright, so what do I do guys? I'm going to attempt to get this off with up and a piece of paper and I hope I don't end up screaming. I'm not showing you my face right now because I'm all ready for bed and everything. I was literally like lying in bed and just looked over and saw this thing crawling next to my head. So here, we, here goes nothing. Alright, so I think the final decision is that I'm going to put him out here in our garage, in the cup, let him figure his way out, hopefully, because I don't know how to get him back out of here now that I've got him in here. He's very slow moving, thank goodness. Um,
Alright, so I just came to check on him because I was curious to see if he's going to figure it out. And look, he's already almost to the edge. So he's going to make it out just fine. Oh, I think I'm scaring him now because he stopped. Oh, now he's booking it. Look at him go. Sorry, it's turned into a whole vlog about a slug. But it's curious. It's interesting. And it's good. He's going to make it. I saved a slug. My good deed for the day.